Hi, my name is Aries. This is Aries Atelier, the leather craft channel. So today we are actually just talking about leathers. So um, some days ago, one of my subscribers asked me a question. She was like, hey Aries, how do you tell the difference between real leather and synthetic leather? And honestly, I thought this was something I had already covered. Then I went back and I checked and apparently I posted a video like in the earlier period of my youtube channel but basically was just me giving definitions and this thing without showing you guys what it really was like literally taking the pieces and showing you like the physical materials i guess it was because i was i just started up then but this is me years after and i am back again to give you guys more information on how to identify your leathers so this is going to be a three-part video the first one I'm just going to sort of like define in the plainest terms what leather is, what synthetic leather is, basically what the whole deal about leather is actually. Then the second one I'm going to give you guys a few differences. Then the last one, which is my favorite, is basically a show and tell. So on my table now, you can't really see it yet, but I just sort of took like um, swatches of materials that I've worked with in the past. And I'm just going to literally show you guys like, hey, what's up? This is leather, this is nuts. And if you want to keep seeing this pretty face and keep hearing more about leather craft, don't forget to like and subscribe and support my YouTube channel so I can actually come out here and give you guys all the information you want and sort of help you guys on your creative journey. So let's jump in. So when, hmm, in the plainest terms, one would define leather as a material that is made or produced or manufactured basically it's it's made from animal skin so there is a range of animals i don't think every animal can be turned into hide so the most common one is cow hide so there's cow there's sheep i know i've seen goat skin there's bison um, yeah, even some birds too, like ostrich. Yes, that's a very popular one, like ostrich leather. So basically, <clears throat> if the skin of the animal is going to be thick enough to withstand the strain that the normal leather material should go through, then yes, that skin is most likely being able to be turned into leather. And this process is actually called tanning. So there is, I don't know, there's this whole deal. You guys can just go check out my previous video. I think I even gave more information on the different grades, different types even the methods of tanning yes i remember that was a very tour it, it sounded like a book report i swear so you can actually check this video <clears throat> you can follow this link and check out what is wrong with my throat you can check this link and you can go to that video and you can get more details but basically all that was just me trying to say that okay there are different types of leathers there are different grades of leathers there are different methods of tanning these leathers but basically it's still leather as long as it's from an animal then yes it is technically real leather so for synthetic leather i don't know if i mentioned this already but anything that is made by a human being is considered synthetic so whether it is um, called vegan leather, faux leather, sometimes even fleather, it's basically synthetic. Me, I just call it synthetic because that's like a more honest definition. But basically, yeah, so anything that is man-made is synthetic. All right, so let's just quickly um, do like sort of like a differentiation between these two types of materials. I don't know if that's a real word, but I'm just going to roll with it. So, okay, the first thing is longevity. Obviously, leathers, that is real leathers in this case, they actually do last way longer than synthetic. It doesn't mean that the synthetic doesn't last though, because with proper care, you can actually get your synthetic leather bag or synthetic leather shoe or whatever to actually last a really long time. So I guess the key word here is proper care because most times even these designer bags you're buying and trust me i mean it's designer bags they could just maybe call it some form of like fancy name but these are synthetic leathers and with proper care you can actually get them to last for a while but the fact is that the leather always wins like i don't you may have leather peel sometimes or that's like in extreme conditions but most times your synthetic leather is more likely to peel before your leather even starts changing color or shape or whatever 
and on that longevity there's a second difference too so you know how you see this like real like old like russian coats where the thing sort of starts to darken maybe like around the shoulder or around the creases or even some shoes where you see the toe starts to darken so that process is actually called patina and only real leather can patina i mean sometimes maybe when they are making this synthetic they could sort of like print it on it but only genuine i'm going to like get pictures on all but only genuine leather actually patinas with time so that's when you now see it gets like kind of like shiny and a little dark in some corners that is called patina and that is something that only real leather can do so the next difference is when you are using these materials for your shoes your bags or whatever um products you want to make the word here is skiving. So skiving basically means that you are thinning out your material because it is too thick. Maybe you want to fold it or you want to wrap it. Okay, so you see most of my tutorials where I use synthetic leather and I want to wrap my stiffener and I just put the gum and I just wrap it like that. So you can only do that with synthetic leather. With real leather, you have to skive it. If not, it's going to look very bulky. And because I guess the constitution of these materials mean that um i'm guessing synthetic leathers are like way like really porous and they bend easily they're easy to manipulate but for real leather you have to skive them okay the next difference is hmm from top of my head so when you are actually buying these materials i think this is like the most obvious one like if you don't know this know this now when you are buying your leather whether it's real or genuine the moment you see them measuring them in yards or meters you know how you have the fabric rolls and you have like them just like oh my that is synthetic that means that it has been produced in such a quantity that it can be rolled on a rim when it comes to real leather the cutting is more i want to say intricate because most times when leathers are produced because they are made from animals so you get that if i if I, this is like a, like trivia you know that sign for like real leather like the thing that has this i'm going to get a picture that is basically an abstract for what most letters look like because that is like the neck the hand the legs and sometimes even the tail so that even means that when they are tanning these leathers they never even have like proper shapes except maybe after production then they have to cut off the excess which is going to be very wasteful so when you're now buying leathers you have to now buy sometimes in like square foot or even if you want to buy it like in a large quantity the, the biggest i think they have the biggest unit of measurement is like square i'm guessing square meter that's like 100 centimeter by 100 centimeter but if you want to buy in smaller quantities you have square foot but if you are in nigeria you know nigerians we always like to have our own thing so there's something they call pair i've always been confused like one pair two pairs so apparently a pair is six inches by eight i don't know if this is done anywhere else in the world but nigerians our wahala is too much so nigerians we have our one unit of measurement and it's called a pair so a pair is six inches by eight inches so the unit of measurement here is actually like a sign on whether you're buying real leather or genuine leather um, so the last difference for me here i'm sure there are way more if i did not mention anyone that's you, anyone that you already know and i didn't mention it please put it in the comment section let us share with the class so the last thing i think is the most obvious is the fact that most times genuine leather that is the back of the material they have like this fuzzy like suede kind of thing going on I don't think it's something that they can ever replicate in synthetic so most times the front of these letters you can't even tell the difference is until you hold it and you feel it then you're like okay yeah this looks like real leather or like i can't tell if this is like genuine or fake so the back is always a giveaway so for real leather you have like a fuzzy backing except maybe it's like um i guess maybe like crocodile or python basically anything from like snakes and amphibians and all yes those are different but when you talk about hides like cow hide even sometimes even the goat skin too they have that fuzzy back i mean generally they're heavy but they have the fuzzy backing that's always like a thing and for synthetic the dead giveaway is it's like you know how you have this cotton this like fluffy cotton materials so whether it's black or white or any color 
most times synthetic materials have like a fabric thing like a cotton fabric material going on so most times when you just turn the material around you're like you just see like white clothes or like a black type like felt fabric thing going it's like mm, yeah that's definitely fake leather so now let's move to the most exciting part of this which is my show and tell um sadly the only thing that i do not have here today let me turn on my second camera this is my side cam and as you can see i have three um i have three piles together here okay so the first one is this is the synthetic leather so like i said before when you turn the back over you have like a fabric thing going on with this and you can see how light this one is like there is no way this is real so this is um they even printed in the box <laughs> you have these this synthetic they usually come in like a variety of assortments you got the thin ones you have the thick ones sometimes they even have the ones that have the um animal print sort of mimicked on it so this one obviously as you can see this is the crocodile belly the crocodile back and the crocodile belly do are two different patterns but yes you can see how they mimic this but when you turn around oh, it's fabric it's white i think just for comparison i'm just going to sort of shift this so this is also the same pattern but when you look at the back you can see how heavy it looks it's barely even bends so this is just for comparison i had to go look for this too because these are two different materials but there are two different grades so this is like cowhide that has a crocodile skin that is why i'm so pained that i don't have the real crocodile skin or real python to show you guys because you would have been able to really see the differences in this because you can see okay see just just a strength test see how this one is very stiff but you can see this one is almost like cloth so this is synthetic leather this is genuine cowhide with crocodile printed on it i'm pretty sure when you bring the real crocodile it's going to look very different so let's go back to our synthetic leather pile let me move these ones out of the way so i don't get distracted <laughs> i don't want to get distracted let's focus so let's zoom in let's turn our light here okay so ah uh, let's work with it like that um okay so like i said before this is synthetic leather let's move this aside this is synthetic leather with a smooth but still has so you now come to this one i'm just going to follow the vibe here so this is how it's easy to just sort of like imprint like a like a design on it so this one isn't an animal print this is kind of like um like a basket type of thing going on but when you look at the back still the same synthetic material thing so this one is special you can see that it's thick but what really makes this thick is the material that is used for the back here i don't know if you can see this one so this has like a i don't know i don't, I don't know if you can call this felt but if you look at the side you can actually see this finish is just a very thin layer on top but even like this it's still it's still very pliable it's just thick but it's pliable so all these are also synthetic so this one you can see the back is tan but if you look close you can see is also like cotton material but the front is this gorgeous pink and this one too is similar texture this is yellow but when you look at the back this one has a white backing this one has a tan backing so you can actually see synthetics in other like colored prints i think i even had a bag i think i'm just going to like a cut out of that i even had like a bag that was printed like with like florals so it's not really bad it's just that you need to know your leathers so this one has like the python thing sort of just printed it doesn't really have the texture but this is like a python like if you had like real python this is what it's going to look like color wise but when you look at the back it's still the same so most of them okay yeah i was able to get one i had so this one is it has like a high gloss like a i don't know what to call this but this is also similar to alligator but you can tell that they just sort of made it small and if, even if you look at the edge you can see where the fabric is so you can see the fabric and you can see your synthetic 
um, leather finishing but this one the back is cloth too and most of them are like this they are very they are very very soft so now with that in mind let's move we're going to do um, other comparisons too but now let's move to our hide so most of this the most common um, medium is actually cow hide so whether it's thick or thin so I also have yellow here so you can see how this one is very heavy like this one if you want to make like a structured bag you definitely have to skive it it's much thicker just for comparison I'm going to bring back our yellow from before so that you guys really see so these are two yellows they look very familiar right like even the synthetic even has like a cleaner finish because this was manufactured but when you look at this you see they're like i don't know if you can see this clearly but they're like tiny like stains and swatches but when you look at the back you can actually see the difference so this one has like a suede type of thing going on because obviously this is from an animal this is a similar one too yeah this one has more like of the fuzzy thing at the back so this is the back of real leather and this is the back of synthetic i just want to be very thorough so nobody will say i didn't explain you well so even when it's thin even when it's thin you see see the back the back is still the same this one has like a like some pattern on it so these are mostly cowhide and you've seen this one before this one you can tell that. This is not real crocodile because I think real crocodile is going to look very different in the back. But you can see how like heavy duty this is. It even holding it, it feels way heavier than the synthetics. So those are, oh yeah, and there's also this. I think this was made from skin. I don't know what animal this is. It was really like thinned out properly, but like you can see this one also has like a pattern to it but you can see how even if it's thin it's still like very stiff it doesn't just like flop over like the synthetic so the last one i'm doing the last uh, comparison or right, last show and tell i'm doing is for the furs if i had python i'd have shown you guys so there's two types here this one i've used in one of my previous videos this is actually from a bunny so looking at the back you can see it has that like skin thing going on and even this this marks mean that probably when it was finished they were like small small pieces and it had to like join them together so this is actually bunny four it's real bunny four it's really fluffy and it's ugh, it sheds like crazy but if you look at this one this one looks more heavy duty I don't know my guess is this is like probably from a horse I don't know but it's it looks really so I think this ones are used for like more um, traditional designs so there are things that we have here in Africa some of our accessories and all so most times you could see like also sometimes we go hostile sometimes it's like so those are made from this fur there's actually a name that the vendor I bought this from called this but if you look at the side you can see how thick it's really really thick so we only have i only have these two type of furs with me i really wish i had more to show you guys i really wish i had way more that's pretty much everything for my show and tell today i hope this helps i hope you are able to identify the different types of leather or at least just been able to tell what's real from what's fake and not let anybody cheat you in the future but um let me see don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel my birthday is actually coming up so i'm like super jazzed about that so thanks for watching my video um thanks for supporting my youtube channel thanks for stopping by to watch me just yammer on for minutes and all that being said thanks for watching my video and i will see you in my next post